Hey all, welcome to Circle of Tone, and today we have the Chaos of Immortal, one of the old school black metal brigade who actually started uh, to, I think in my opinion they were the, one of the first guys to poke black metal into the melodic style of really fast tram picking. So these guys really are vastly underrated in my opinion. I think they get the piss taken out of them way too many times just because of their personas and their famous old pictures of them in the forests. So that's that. You know, if you're not interested in black metal, uh, stay tuned after the song because you might be interested in some of the stuff that they get up to. So, uh, you know, let's. so that's it. Let's get straight to it. If you like these type of videos, please subscribe. I have t-shirts for sale, music and everything, and you can find that at circulatone.com. So let's get to the music. Immortal. Circular Tone. And we're back. So <laughs> that was a workout. <clears throat> yeah, that was a bitch to play, but so much fun. I mean, come on. It's not often that you get to really shred shred when you're playing rhythm. So that stuff was awesome. And uh, when you when you think about it on the surface, the, not many black metal bands get made fun of more than Abbott and Immortal, because they are the kiss of black metal, and uh, it's what kind of frustrated me over the years is the lack of respect they get, because Abbott is absolutely legitimate musician. He played drums on those earlier albums, and those drums were about as fast as you could physically play. He didn't do the tip 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 the really fake ass drum modern metal brutal drumming. It's about as brutal as chopsticks on the end of a desk. There's nothing brutal about modern heavy metal drumming. You know, the, all of the napalm death craziness, uh, the the brutal force of will. To play everything is now being taken over by little tip tippy tappy technique and it's my it's not metal you know it's uh it's gymnastics it's uh it's turned into something completely just blah and uh, it separates the men from the boys life i can tell you that now but 
Anyway, so these guys are like, they're legit. And he played bass, he played guitar, he sung, he played drums. He is a really legit musician, but all the internet cares about when it comes to a bath is this. And this, and that. So, I mean, what can you say? It's, he started, I'm telling you, Immortal were, did really start off a whole movement, which is which is taken out of black metal. It's gone on to the mellow death aspect of it. And they have been pioneers, you know? And now they're a meme. But it's a funny meme, because when I saw him fall down that slope... I literally cried laughing for about 20 minutes. I couldn't stop laughing because of his reaction afterwards when he went up to a camera and went, hey, <laughs> I would love to meet him. He seems like so much fun. I mean, he's just the right amount of, you know, reverence and a uh, sense of humor that I can really, you know, get on with. <laughs> he's not too fucking up his own asshole, you know? So, yeah. So great band, great uh, pioneers. It was a great scene at the time, you know, uh, they had a lot of mystique about it before the memes, but uh, God bless them. I love, I, love the, I love this old stuff. So it's good, good stuff. So let's talk about the gear. I saw the pictures. This is the best one that I came up with. This JCM 800 combo, you never see combos uh, in backline for clubs, for big, you know, they don't say, oh, okay, I need 10 uh, JCM 800 combos. You know what I mean? They say we want five uh, Marshall stacks or whatever. So that is obviously his own JCM 800 combo. And I can relate to that because I've had one of those myself and they sound amazing with pedals. And uh, so that's it. I mean, now I believe he's using Engel, uh, Blackmore. And uh, he's also using Schecter guitars. This was a tough one. This was a tough one to research because there's no Guitar Center interview with a bath in 1993. You know what I mean? So like, uh, he's changed now. He's using more modern gear, which is to his detriment, in my opinion. I think he should still be using these old Marshalls because, uh, you know, that's part of the howling winds of the abandoned Norwegian forests. Part of the sound. It's a miracle we didn't use a heavy metal two pedal today. Oh my god! <laughs> so I hope you guys like that. Uh, I used my Tokai guitar, which has Seymour Duncan's. He used Seymour Duncan's in the past as well, so that's good to know. Uh, I had all of my ducks in a row for this one. I used seventy uh, fives again because most of the speakers, most of the guys in the uh, late eighties and early nineties were using seventy fives. The vintage thirties didn't come into uh, be really prevalent until the mid 90s onwards so uh but i was looking at his cabs and they were 75s in those cabs uh the i did try 65s just in case because in some of those jc 800 combos they did have a 65 or 75 and the uh frequencies uh dropped in for 75s and i was like that's fine uh so that's it Hope you like that. Uh, there'll be more coming soon. I'm going to try and bring these videos out more often. And, uh, you know, it's been, uh, uh, it's been, I used an SM57 on this. And I'm looking forward to doing older stuff because I've noticed that doing the Hexmas and doing these uh, death metal and, you know, the, these classic bands, I've noticed it's Marshall City and it's uh, SM57s and, 75s so that's pretty repetitive but when you use different pedals it's amazing how different these bands sound you know so that's why i made my cot 100 the way i did because it's a base for pedals and then so if you want to sound you know like napalm death you use a a big muff if you want to sound like uh, uh entombed you use a certain pedal which i'm not going to say because uh entombed is coming up next <laughs> either Entombed or Death I'm not sure which one's coming up so let's look forward to in the near future on Circle of Tone uh, let me know if you like these vids uh, tell me in the comments what bands you would like to see and uh, I did do a different video this week where 
I was I did a top ten heaviest riffs in my opinion that weren't heavy metal bands. But after I finished it, I uploaded it. Then it got all sorts of uh, strikes because I included the music. You can't do that. So I'm a noob. I wasted my time. I'm learning. Uh, 2018. So far, so bad. <laughs> but let's do this. Get loads of great comments, loads of uh, questions, and uh, I'm an I answer all questions. And uh, I'll see you next time on Circular Tone. Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. Right about the dead of winter.